We got 30 more minutes to win a national championship. Now they're running together. They have a prayer meeting on the kickoff. They have a prayer meeting when they come out the door. They have a prayer meeting when they fumble. They're together. Now let's just stay together. When you look at what the ACC has become, it's hard not to give Coach Bowden a lot of credit for that. His legacy is indelible. I mean, what he's meant not only to Florida State, but what he's meant to sport in general, what he's meant to football at all levels. Come on, we got to make, you got to make plays this half. You've got to make plays. The way he approached football was a lot of the ways that really I'm try, I try to do things. I mean, he was someone you wanted to be. Very competitive, built his own program, at, at obviously an incredible uh, football power, and did it the right way. I couldn't believe that he had one losing season in 34 years. It's incredible. Um, it's unheard of. Uh, unbelievable example of consistency, uh, loyalty, you know, commitment, uh, loved his players. His players respected him, his coaches stayed with him, and he couldn't have been at a harder place to play a football game at that time. 30 more minutes, it's eyeball, profit, to take this thing, and go down here and score, you know? I mean, that might, they, they might, I throw it in, you don't know. Okay, okay. Yes, sir, I really think so. Hard to find too many people that ever played for Coach Bowden uh, that don't get emotional when they talk about him. Certainly one of the greatest coaches that the game has ever seen, uh, but he's one of the greatest men uh, that I've ever known. Uh, I walked, walked him into our, our, our coaching staff room and uh, our two former players uh, saw their faces and that told me everything I ever needed to know about that man. Just an amazing person. You know what kind of man he was based off of what kind of people his, his children are. And uh, he's an amazing, amazing icon. You know, how he has served the Lord and, and, and lived his life in a way to impact others, but to glorify God, I mean, he did it right. The kind of gentleman he was, the legacy that he's left at Florida State, uh, the men that he's inspired, each and every year, um, it's just hard to put into words.